having been in numerous meetings with the chambers, myself, with Mahad, and others, I can tell you they're very committed. And they're, they're saying, you know, we would like to have the capacity built in our chamber to be effective. We know that the business associations and chambers can be very effective on behalf of the private sector. And I think that uh, it's a great call from this forum to say, let's put energy behind, nah, no pun intended, but let's put our efforts behind um, supporting and building the capacity of these chambers. Uh, they can be a very effective voice. And I've seen how they actually are a very effective voice, but not all always appreciated for what they could do or can do or are doing. So I think that uh, it's great to see them come out in force. It wasn't easy for any of them to get here, long driving. The flight situation, as you all know, in the recent uh, few weeks has been very difficult. So we've seen long drives, uh, you know, multi-hour drives and patchwork uh, travel arrangements, which uh, we got in the middle of. So I'm really grateful that they are here. So without further delay, let me give the mic to Abdi. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I would like uh, to introduce uh, uh, Mr. Ibrahim Ismail Ilmi, the Secretary General of Somalia Chamber of Commerce, uh, Industry, and Agriculture. Bismillah yeah. ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, honorable ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the uh, Somalian Chamber of Commerce and Agriculture Industry, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to this very important occasion. This is a milestone for Somaliland to host such, a, such an important event. First of all, let me give you a brief background information about Somaliland Chamber of Commerce. The Somaliland Chamber of Commerce, Industry and Agriculture was established on 25th October 1993. It's an independent organization working towards promoting and advancing the economic growth of all sectors of the business community with the vision of forging new boundaries of commercial cooperation and opportunities between Somalia and the rest of the world. And to market the country as a world-class trade frontier. At present, the chamber has about 4,000 members. The growth in the number of business registration translates into the growth of the formal economy and underlines the increasing confidence of existing businesses and investors as well, in the level of security and political stability. So my landers pay some of the highest energy tariffs in the world, crippling businesses, business growth, and tightening household budgets. Yet the country has some of the greatest potential in Africa for onshore wind power and solar generation. Somalian Renewable Energy Forum will advance the new dialogue and development of the energy sector, which will have a positive impact across industries and will boost the economy of this country. On this note, the funds, of, ha, ha, the funds has the full support of Somalian Chamber of Commerce, Industry, and Agriculture, and please, and please Shiraco, engage us, and we will provide 100% support. Uh, I don't want to go further. I, I, in conclusion, I'd like to thank Shiraco, who organized it and made this event possible. I, I, also, I would also like to thank all the participants who came from different parts of the world in order to take part in this important event. This kind of event will boost opportunity for all and create a win-win situation for all of us. I will finally thank the Chambers of Commerce from Somalia. And I will say welcome to Somaliland, all of you. Thank you very much.